you want to change the situation, move from where you are. The journey is not easy. Before you start that journey mentally, you must fuel yourself with the right reasons, the right fuel to sustain the entire journey. Everyone's hot off the start, but after a month or so into it, or a couple weeks into it, where the wear and tear and the grind starts to hit you, you start losing focus on the horizon, do you not? You get caught away in the daily hiccups, the ups and downs, and the wear and tear. And you focus on the speed bumps of the daily activities, losing sight of the true purpose. When you lose sight of the purpose, you give too much value of what the pain is today. We always invest today, sacrifice today for tomorrow's betterment. But if we don't know what that betterment is, the want factor, what we're really doing it for, we can't win this war, guys. In order to be successful in the MFT program, or in life in general, it's the want factor. You have a capable body, do whatever you want. You have a sound mental, nutritional diet. What the f you want? Once you find out you want, regardless of what it is, and you combine the mind and the body together, that's when life gets exciting, guys. Stories of inspiration where the person overcomes the odds. When you see the good man, bump the brakes. Put your hands together, man. Give credit where it's due. Remember the name of the person that overcame the odds. Because that same person you're going to use in your own battle one day. When you hit rock bottom and you feel like the walls and monkeys on your back and Murphy's hitting you down every single step, you're going to use that inspiration to take that one more step forward that makes all the difference. Let me give you a few examples of these of people that overcome the odds.